Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we would learn how to solve the practice problem Armstrong number. So for solving this problem, we need to understand the meaning of Armstrong number. So let's start. Basically, let's take an example 153. Now in this question, it is mentioned that, you know, the input would have three digit. Okay, that means it should be a three digit input. Now this is 153. Now let me cube all the digits. That means cube of 1 then plus cube of 5 plus cube of 3 okay now this cube would remain 1 this would be 125 okay and this would be 3 into 3 is 9 9 into 3 is 27 okay now this is the cube of all the three values and after that I have added them so I need to add them right so let me add them it would be 126 right 126 plus 27 okay so this would give you how much 12 13 1 this is 4 this is 5 153 okay so the sum is 153 now if you see carefully 153 was the original number given to us as input right now after cubing each and every single digit of the number and adding their sum i again got the same number this kind of number is known as armstrong number okay i hope the meaning of armstrong number is clear to you now what i need to do is i would be given a number and i need to check if it is an armstrong number or not okay so that is our question now let's solve it what you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal in practice portal in the difficulty section you need to choose school after that you need to find the problem armstrong number once you find the problem you need to click on solve okay so let's solve the question now okay so here is the question let's read the question first for a given three digit number find whether it is armstrong number or not an armstrong number of three digits is an integer such that the sum of the cubes of its digits is equal to the number itself return yes if it is an armstrong number else return no i hope the question is clear to you now we would code it over here okay let's start okay so basically first i need to separate all the digits right because after separating only I can find their cubes and then add them, right? So, I would be separating all the digits. K1, okay? That is K10, okay? Then K2, okay? After K2, that is 1 minute. Let me write N1, okay? N1 is N slash slash 100, okay? Then next is K2, okay? K2 is K1, that is so sorry, K, then modulus, and then I need to write 10, okay? After this, I need to find J, okay? Let's find J. So, J is N1, okay? N1 power power 3, that is cube, okay? Plus K1, okay? What is K1? Again, the second digit, so cube, okay? Plus, one minute. Next is K1, uh, sorry, this would be K2. And this would be K1, okay? Again, cube root right after this i need to check uh, you know check if it is matching or not so it would be if j is equal equal to n then i need to return with yes right so i need to return with yes else i need to return with no so return with double quotes no okay now i need to check if the solution is correct or not so i would click on compile and run one minute okay so let's wait there is a runtime error let me check one minute okay i think i found the error k should be small over here one minute now compile and run let's wait okay the compilation is completed and again there is some error so let me check the error okay one minute i made a mistake somewhere okay so let me check modulus 100 then k1 is equal to k modulus 10 then n1 is equal to n 100 then it is k2 k2 is not modulus so sorry it should be slash slash 10 that is right and then let me click on compile and run okay let's wait the compilation is completed my output is matching with the expected output so now i would submit the problem okay let's wait 
the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem Armstrong numbers. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me today. Thank you.